Hey y'all, today, let's talk about shaman stones. I got these on vacation in Oklahoma City when I went to see my brother at this little cool emporium. Um, shaman stones, Moki marbles. They come in my camera. They come in male or female. Um, females are typically rounder and smoother. Males are typically flatter disc like and they'll have a ridge this is this is not the best as far as um like your typical specimen of a male um but that's what they had and that's what i got uh so i have female and i have male and it was, I've been looking for them for a long time. And this little emporium in Oklahoma City, Craig's Emporium, I love that place. Um, they got the coolest stuff. And it just so happened we went in there one day and there they were. And so I grabbed them. And they're surprisingly heavy for for their size um they are concretion uh an iron oxide concretion um around a sandstone core so that iron oxide is going to give them some heft um found typically in the um u.s southwest um, Arizona one place um, the name the shaman stones the Moki marbles is um, Hopi and in the Hopi language Moki is the dead and they said that the ancestors would come back and play marbles at sunset how neat is that I love that let's get a better look Okay, so here you can see, here is my female, and you can see it's a lot rounder. And then here is my male, and you can see it's not as round, and it has a very prominent ridge. Uh, and you'll see some males, they look like uh, your classic like 1950s, like flying saucer, or squished. Some say um, that knocking the stones together clears negative energy from a space, um, which goes along with the the property of the stone itself uh, is said to clear negative energy from spaces, and it doesn't allow it the negative energy to attach to you. Um, it brings a balance of male and female energies said to be the most energetic stone. I find that quite interesting. Um, it improves your business relationships. It enhances mental clarity. And I think that kind of crosses over to creativity because it also enhances your creativity so if, so if you have mental clarity you have room for hey cooks you have room for um for creativity for those creativity creative thoughts yeah cooks um to quit would you <laughs> i'm really trying to make this sincere and you're killing it um <laughs> yes yeah. Yes, that's my girl. Um, it also is said to um, release thoughts that you are unworthy of success. And that kind of crosses over into, again, um, it's also said to increase self-confidence. So if you are more self-confident, 
then you are, if you have self-confidence, you're not going to worry about being worthy of success because you're confident in yourself. And when you're confident in yourself, you are successful. See how that goes together? Thanks, cooks. Thanks, cooks. Um, it says that it brings unexpected good luck. I, I just do love these. I do. They they feel good. That heft that I was talking about. Um, tie dye. I've been tie dye. So that's a close up. That's a close up of the stone. Cooks, you're not helping. I mean, it is a vlogmas quickie, and you know, it's just not a video if Cooks doesn't show up and just walk across everything. Say hi, Cooks. Mm-hmm. I love you too. Um, but that's just a quick overview of shaman stones. Do you have shaman stones? Um, do you use them in meditation? Um, with that energetic, that balance that it has, it's great for, for meditation, they say, um, because of its balance of energies to hold them one in each hand. Female in the left hand, I believe, uh, right before bed to combat insomnia. Really cool. Really cool. I'm going to show you where I keep mine. This is my collection that I keep in my, my office of my favorites. I should not pick favorites, but... This is where, this is where I keep my shaman stones with my, my amethyst and my other crystals. Just so you could see what I work with a lot. And the shaman stones. Today for Vlogmas. Do you have a favorite stone that you like to work with or that has a special meaning for you? Tell me about it in the comments below. And if you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. I'll make sure that I put it in a playlist so it's easier for you to find. My channel is full of videos, a lot of content, from crystals and spirituality to cooking to tie-dye and jewelry making, just a smattering of my life. Stop by and hang out for a minute. You never know. You might have a good time. Remember, be peaceful. Be kind. It's important. I'll talk to you soon. We say cooks.